How's it going guys, Mike here, and I am just another UK gamer, and today I want to talk about Infinite Warfare Zombies. Now this probably sounds weird coming from a zombie YouTuber because recently it's all been about a DLC 5 this, DLC 5 that, remastered gameplay this, remastered gameplay that, and honestly it's getting a bit too much for me right now, so I wanted to come back off the topic of DLC 5, and I wanted to go back onto the topic of Infinite Warfare Zombies because a recent poster that was uh, revealed by Lee Ross has got me thinking about something and I believe an easter egg that we are currently looking into right now is the David Savage easter egg, you might know exactly what I'm talking about. I think this has just given us the release date for DLC 3 and I'll let you know why now. Right, so before we even get into this, I'm going to show you this poster. This is what Lee Ross uh, leaked or should I say shown to all of us. This is a sneak peek at the poster for DLC 3. Now in the background it looks like some sort of ship. And obviously, what comes to mind when you think of a ship, a pirate ship, treasure. So I was thinking, okay, this, it's not a coincidence this how there is like a treasure ship or a ship, a treasure's hidden on a ship normally. Then I was thinking, let's think back to the steps of the Easter egg that we're currently looking into. Now, for anyone who doesn't know about that Easter egg, it's basically a cipher Easter egg. It's, ba it's like literally one cipher leads to the next, then the next one leads to the next, and so on. Now, we all are speculating that this is for the troll card. Now, let me tell you what the troll side is. This is what I believe the troll side is. Because we have been looking for countless hours. Myself, Dane, Smart Guy, Ninja, and I'm pretty sure so, so many more people. We have had countless hours spent on this, uh, this map, this Easter egg. I've spent more time on this Easter egg than the actual map itself. I've spent uh, like more time trying to figure this out. We've had sleepless nights because sometimes we've had to stay up till 5 in the morning or wake up at 5 in the morning just to get a step of the Easter egg complete, which in my opinion was absolutely ridiculous. And then we came to a halt because we did the Midnight Cypher. We solved that Cypher. Is this something about finding a King's Ransom? Now, I think that was just to throw us off course because the words that we pick out can spell June the 6th. And people were saying now that if you actually change your date to June the 6th, you get a cyber that says you were manipulating the time or manipulating the date or something and you are now banned from getting it. Now, obviously I don't think that was a coincidence that he works at midnight. Again, that could have worked at any other time, but it worked at midnight. So we're taking June 6th and at midnight as the, the key word, as should I say. Now, if we put them together, we get June the 6th at midnight. If we look on our calendars, June the 6th is a Tuesday. And what times do the maps get released? Midnight. It's a treasure hunt, and the DLC 3 poster that has just been released is of a ship. It doesn't take putting two and two together to realize that this is all linked. And the troll card is the fact that we have just been spending countless hours of our time looking for an Easter egg that doesn't exist and was just a clue to the next DLC. Now, I want to know, do you guys disagree or do you guys actually agree with what I'm saying? Because I've looked through this. I was like unsure of making a video about this because obviously I don't do unscripted videos most of the time. I like to script my videos and sound professional. And I was unsure about doing this because I wasn't sure if I was right. But when you're thinking about it, guys, 6th June, midnight. The 6th of June is on a Tuesday. The DLC gets released at midnight and the poster is a shit. It's pretty obvious what we're going to be doing. I'm pretty obvious when the DLC is going to be released. But what do you guys think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to pretty much wrap up the video. I didn't want to make this a very, very long video. I wanted to make it short. But um, do leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in another video.